What's up guys, new video today. I uh, got a little something special planned for you. Got the truck gutted. Uh, so we got some interior work going on, but first things first. Without further ado, Here's what we've got going on. Went ahead with a little update here. Some nice PRP. These are the Enduro Elites and the 5.3 harnesses. But first, I uh, got some preparation to do. So we all know how it is having a project slash driver vehicle. This vehicle, when it got built, sort of got built in haste at the end, like things go and so I've had this annoying hole in the floor for 10 years blowing air and exhaust and whatever else through the floorboard so today I'm going to just patch that up real quick that's where the old rear heater plumbing came through uh, and there's not like a factory rubber plug or anything to go in there so I'm just gonna weld the plate out and let you watch Okay, there she is all welded up. It's not super pretty. I'm not a body man and I'm trying to run 030 in here instead of like an 023 or something. So it's not rad, but it'll keep the air out. Put some paint on there and call that done. Here's a little shot of what was in there before. These are the Corbo Baja SS's. And I got what I would consider probably a solid 10 years out of this seat. Uh, this is just a very basic suspension seat. It's a tube frame with suspension and foam and whatnot so pretty typical of a suspension seat uh you've got the webbing you can see the foam up in here uh, and they're just they're just broken down i mean 10 years you can see their sun faded this one here is my seat it's a little more beat you can see the it was just basically starting to come apart so um with age you know you gotta kind of be fair here i gave about I'm pretty sure I gave 160 bucks a piece for these. And I sure as hell got my money's worth out of them. Like I said, the PRPs were not... We're not really comparing apples to apples here. We're comparing, like, apples to, I don't know, applesauce or something. We haven't really got any seat time in these. I just got the harness bar and stuff in today. Got it all welded out. Put in a removable bar. We get the dogs. We do all kinds of different things. So it's just kind of nice to have that. That is one I scored through Genrite. Uh, tube clamps and I just welded that up and that will be easily removable Anybody who knows anything knows PRP is basically the premier aftermarket seat uh, And these are just really nice. Basically, we did kind of custom tweed. It's got the diamond stitching we Got the front goggle pouch the rear pouch and the air lumbar We didn't spring for the seat heaters because we're not gonna need heated seats where we're going. So I would say overall, anybody who's spent any time in a Toyota mini truck, 4Runner or whatever, knows that stock seats are okay if you're driving to the market or whatever. If you're spending more than about an hour in them, especially if they have any amount of miles on them whatsoever, uh, you wanna get them out of there, man. They just beat your back and and you just pay after riding in a stock Toyota seat all day. So if you're gonna spend money on your rig, um, seats, seats are very important uh, I cannot wait to get some miles on these because uh, like I said I mean dude the Corbos were, were great we did uh, you know like eight hour days in them recently and you're just not really racked in those even though they are pretty old and beat so uh, we're definitely excited to get some time in these seats and we'll definitely update when we let you know what uh, what else is going on with them that wraps up another episode of snail racing thank you for watching please make sure to like and subscribe